Here's my Windows 7 machine, freshly built and ready to go. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure that it's got all the latest Microsoft updates on it. So run Windows Update. Now let all those updates uh, install, uh, reboot it and keep running Windows updates until such time as it tells you Windows is up to date. Now remember it is a virtual machine so we're going to want to install the VMware virtual tools on it. So same as with any other virtual machine, install the virtual tools. I'm just checking all the defaults and let it install. That's the VMware tools installed. It should ask for a reboot when it's finished. Yep, let it do so. Okay, there's our machine back up again. Now at this point you want to install all your um, software and applications that you're going to want on your view desktop. I'm just going to stay Acrobat Reader on it. Again, I've sped all this up for the sake of the video. And I'll stick Flash on as well while I'm here. You'll want to install a full, full range of all your corporate apps, Office, etc. Now, once you're happy with that, um, there's a couple of scripts that you need to run that will disable a load of services. There are two different ones. One if you're not using Persona Management, and one if you are. You can download them from our website on the link that was just up on the screen there. Now what I'm doing is I'm pasting that script to the root of my C drive, and then I'm going to open a command window and run it as administrator. So hold down shift and right click. Remember you need to do this even if you are logged on as the domain administrator. The reason for this is it runs a lot of PowerShell commands that alter your um, services. So run the batch file. And that's doing a myriad of different things for a full list of what exactly the script is going. Go to the link on the page. You can see at the minute it's setting uh, services to uh, disabled. Anything that the view machine is not going to need. It's also turning off scheduled tasks for defragmentation. Changing the power option. Turning off hibernation. Sending the sound to no sound. Turning off the themes, setting everything back to its basic settings so it uses the smallest amount of RAM possible.
As you can see, it takes a little while for this script to run. It's disabling the firewall at the minute, and that's the script to run. Now you've set a load of services to disabled, so before you go any further you need to reboot this machine because those services will obviously still be running at the moment. You see when it reboots, our theme is set to pretty basic. Now I'm going to install the view agent. There's a 32 and a 64 bit version depending on your version of Windows. Here I'm using a 32 bit. This is very straightforward. All the defaults. I'm not using smart card authentication so I don't need to turn that on, it's off by default accept all the defaults and that's the agent installed click finish uh, it's going to ask to restart, I'm just going to click no there and shut the machine down manually so I don't want it to come straight back up again While the machine's off, I'm just going to have a look at its settings. I want to make sure that if there's a floppy drive on this machine, it's not connected. And the CD struck DVD drive, you'll see at the minute it's pointing to an ISO. Let's get a client device and make sure it's not connected. Any other erroneous bits of hardware you've got added on there, you can simply remove them. and I'm going to power that back on again. That machine is now ready to give out in a manual assignment or to snapshot if you want to make it a, a link clone etc or deploy it with Composer. That's us done. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.peatnetlive.com